guys, welcome back to another Philippines video reaction. Magandang umaga, magandang hapon, magandang gabi. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So guys, I've been getting some requests for this one. Doing another reaction video. This is Southeast Asian nations, Australia and the United States. They're showing China their force with their vessels after what China did sinking the Vietnamese fishing boat. And personally, I don't know who China thinks they are doing that. Like they think they're the number one power or whatever. But no. All right, guys, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, share this, and subscribe if you haven't. All right, let's get into it. South China Sea. These are some big bad boy boats. Malaysian Maritime Enforcement Agency confirmed that a Haiyang DZ-8, a Chinese government research ship, and Chinese Coast Guard vessels were spotted last week conducting a survey close to an exploration vessel, operated by Malaysia's state oil company Petronas, months after it undertook a similar patrol off Vietnam. The Chinese vessel had also entered the Malaysia's exclusive economic zone. Malaysian authorities, including the Royal Malaysian Navy are in constant monitoring of the activity of the ships in its territory, prompting a standoff. The area where the Chinese vessel has been detected, is near waters claimed by both Vietnam and Malaysia as well as China. Chinese government has denied reports of a standoff, saying that their ship was just conducting normal activities in the area. But they Vietnamese always do. Vietnamese Navy and Vietnamese Coast Guard are also monitoring the situation. The incident prompted the United States to call on China to stop its bullying behavior in the disputed waters, citing concern over Beijing's provocative actions towards offshore oil and gas developments in the Malaysian waters. The U.S. State Department has said that China was taking advantage of the region's focus on the coronavirus pandemic to coerce its neighbors. With Chinese, Malaysian, and Vietnamese and ships no are in a standoff in the South China Sea, the United States responded by deploying three warships. The USS America, an amphibious assault carrier, the USS Bunker Hill, a Ticonderoga-class Aegis yeah, cruiser, we got the, the number USS one Barry, military you want us on your Aegis side. destroyer to monitor the situation. The U.S. said that it supports the efforts of their allies and partners, especially in Southeast Asia, to determine their own economic interests. Also, the Royal Australian Navy has confirmed that its Anzac-class frigate HMAS Barramatta has joined up with the United States Navy warships, currently on patrol in the South China Sea, near the standoff between Chinese and Malaysian vessels. Chinese aircraft carrier Liaoning was also spotted in the South China Sea, 300 nautical miles south of Hainan Island is likely heading towards area of standoff between Chinese and Malaysian Coast Guard and exploration vessels. I the Chinese are operating in disputed waters I wonder if the about warships 200 they made in nautical China. <laughs> miles off the coast of East Malaysia that are claimed by Malaysia, Vietnam, and China. The region is believed to be mineral rich, and has been an active area of contention since the drill ship West Capella, under contract to Malaysia's state. I'll tell you what. So, China, they are actively pursuing territory in the Philippines. I don't know what they're thinking, what they're doing. But, they definitely want Philippines. It's a prime spot. Guys, got to be very careful about China and who trusts China. Yeah, they are not good people. Oil company Petronas began exploration activities in October 2019. Vietnam also protested after China said it had established two administrative districts on the Paracel and Spratly Islands in the disputed waters. 
The two districts have been reportedly placed under the control of the Chinese city of Sansha. Beijing also established two research stations on its artificial islands, in the Fiery Cross and Subi Reeds, which are claimed by the Philippines. It also established a mental health I'm facility telling you about. In Look at that. Reef, which has been declared by the International Tribunal in The Hague, as within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone. Yeah, what are your thoughts? Guys, China, I'm telling you, man, we already owe them trillions upon trillions of dollars because all our stuff, like everybody else, is made in China because we want cheap stuff. You know, Walmart, all their stuff made in China. It's just, come on. Then they take advantage of us. We got to start using our brains, guys. So, I don't know what's going on out there. Who's involved with what. All these politicians are just crooked as hell. But that's another story for another day. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share that on your Facebook. And subscribe if you haven't. Always remember, be kind and humble. Good things will happen.